So component and library management in KiCad is... Like footprints and... Sure, sure. So we're talking symbols for the schematic symbols and footprints for the for the PCBs. People who come into, people who have used KiCad for many years have developed their workflows around the KiCad idiom. And when I say KiCad idiom, I, I just mean a common way of working. This is where you have a single footprint that may be referenced by hundreds of individual symbols. Companies develop their libraries around, around these idioms. So if a company has been using another PCB design software for many years, they have created a workflow that maps well to their idiomatic usage. That doesn't always translate directly to KiCad. It, it doesn't directly translate to other PCB, uh, other EDA softwares also. But in terms of KiCad, the pain points that people have identified to us are largely in metadata. So how do you manage and track metadata usage across different symbols and reuse the information that takes time to create. So symbols are represented by graphics and pins as well as the metadata attached to those. Metadata might just be a unique ID for the company, it might be the supplier information, it might be the availability, Rojas compliance, any of the elements that you need to make an informed decision about what you're using on your board. Those points, those pain points, we are addressing one by one by one as we go along. Version 7 introduced the concept of database libraries. This was a huge benefit to many of our corporate users because this allowed them to take their existing KiCad libraries and manage the metadata in a SQL server, in a shared environment. So you could easily have a set of symbols and footprints that are used locally while still having the metadata managed by a uh, service that or a database that links to online services to control update part availability or pricing or potentially you have a in-house librarian who manages that sort of information for a large team of designers that addition was was bi was big for a lot of corporate users and i think that has been extremely useful